what's good fam welcome back to another video so in today's video we're going to be doing a no bling orange glittery nail set that you saw from the thumbnail so here i'm just showing you um how i do my pop-off method what i'm doing is just applying the cuticle oil uh to the nail bed and to the surrounding skin and then i'm just going to be using some glue that i purchased from dollar tree and this is just what i had on hand so this is the one i'm uh using but before we get into the tutorial i do want to thank you for being here and say welcome to all of our new subscribers and thank you so much i truly thank you and i appreciate all of your love and your support um i'm going to be leaving some information on the screen all of the products that i'm using in today's video will be linked in the description box below but let's go ahead and jump into this nail tutorial so i'm gonna start off by using this she gel shea gel i don't know how to pronounce it like i said honey it is in the description box below if you're interested in these jelly colors it did come in a kit of 12 so there's 12 different colors there um of course they come in a pot they do come with this brush that i'm using to apply it for this particular nail i am going to be using two coats i didn't too much to like how the first coat came out i wanted the color to be a little bit more opaque even though this is a jelly color so i'm going to apply the first coat and then cure that in my lamp for uh, 30 seconds and um again you can cure for 60 seconds if need be it's all going to be, uh, depend on your lamp i am using the key era sky uh, beyond pro lamp so I'm curing be, uh, between 30 to 60 seconds, depending on if it's going to be the jelly color or the top coat. This top coat here, this USN top coat, um, I cured for 60 seconds. I purchased that from my local uh, nail supply store, so you won't see that link in the description box. All right, so on this pinky now, we are going to do that color Golden Sun. The entire nail is going to be an all glitter nail. So you want to keep in mind that when you are doing designs, you want to keep them as thin as possible because like your glitters, your uh, colored acrylic powder and things like that need to be encapsulated in clear to provide strength to the nail. So I'm going to apply this as thin as possible. Now, when I, this is a color by Savvy Land and this has some pretty um big size uh glitters in them the little hex glitters so i try my best to keep this as thin as possible but when you're working with those uh, pieces of glitter that are a little bit bigger um those glitters tend to like clump up on the nail making it a little, a little bit more difficult keeping it as thin so i applied now i don't do any type of uh like one ball two ball no i don't i don't do that i've been doing nails um for three and a half years almost four years now and i just work honey um you're gonna find out that when you do nails look you have to do what's best for you everybody else and you know have their way of doing things the best way to get better at doing nails is just practice practice on yourself practice on somebody it's best to practice on yourself um i do have a practice hand but i always tell uh, my um clients from like my stu my classes that i do i always tell them to practice on yourself why because you need to feel the product meaning um sometimes when you if you have like the ratio wrong you are going to be able to tell that because that acrylic is going to heat up and it shouldn't heat up. <clears throat> Pardon me. Most of the products um, have like a two to one ratio. So just check with the uh, manufacturer of the product that you're using. I would say if you are a beginner, I would start off with using one company's products, meaning their um, polymer and their monomer, which is your powder in your liquid i would use just that companies get used to that and then once you get some experience and stuff like that you can kind of jump around and then you'll find whatever products that work best for you so on this ring nail i'm taking that same glitter and i'm going to apply it to half 
of the nail like I'm not gonna do any cut out or anything like that I'm just going to use my brush to put it on one side of the nail this isn't like a, a vertical ombre or anything like that it just like a vertical cut out so I'm gonna apply the uh, golden sun as thinly as possible to the one side and then I'm going to go in with the orange color that I showed you in the beginning of the video I'm not too concerned with getting this line perfectly down the center because later on I'm going to go in with the reflective gel and kind of outline um, so I'm going to go down the middle and then outline the orange color that I'm going to put on there so it doesn't have to be perfect uh, perfectly straight because that reflective gel is actually going to cover up that center line so when you're working I always say work smart and not hard um, don't overthink applying the acrylic because well I mean kind of you want to you want to kind of make sure that you're doing it well enough that you don't have to do a lot of fouling in the end but also thinking about the design as a whole um, I knew that I was actually going to be putting the um, reflective gel down the center so I wasn't too concerned with making sure it was like super super straight I kept the acrylic application uh, portion of this video in real time like me applying the um, colors and all of that in the cover colors so all of that is going to be in real time I did speed up the uh, capping process and I'm also not going to show the thumb design on here at all because that would just made the video entirely too long and I didn't want to uh, leave that in there also um, I didn't mention a lot of people always ask like what size brush am I using let's just talk about that for a minute um, in this video I'm actually using my OD book goody alpha number 10 brush that I bought in the beginning of my nail career I still use this brush I wrapped up wrapped it with the little bandage things because if you've been following me for a while you know that I'm actually autoimmune and I be having problems with my hands sometimes and things like that and just having this bandage around it helped um, it helps a lot because it's softer so it creates a more softer surface for me to hold the brush now about the brushes though I did a video a long while ago but I think it's still relevant to all the beginners out there who start their nail career and it's all about acrylic brushes um, I'll go ahead and I'll leave that linked up in the cards in the eye in the upper right hand corner of this video so be sure to check that out if you have any questions about acrylic brushes now the acrylic brushes are all it's all a preference okay I, I don't know why people ask oh what size brush are you using it it don't matter <laughs> it doesn't matter it really depends on what you are trying to accomplish what you're trying to get done so what I like to do personally when I know that I'm going to be working uh, with a lot of designs like I'm going to be cutting out I'm going to do blocking I'm going to be doing um, glitter and all of that I like to work with a smaller brush and the reason for that is because a smaller brush is not going to pick up as much liquid as a larger brush not only that I can control the amount of product that I'm going to be picking up so say for instance like looking at this uh, ring nail right like I did this and I want to say maybe about three four beads right and I was working with those beads rather wet um, and that just means just a little bit more liquid to powder on that ratio than I would if I were doing like a cover color or um, no I was going to say a uh, clear acrylic but I'm not going to say that because when you're working with clear acrylic you want to work with it rather wet as well so that you don't get all those beads and you can get it as clear as possible so in the matter in terms of the brush right um if for this particular set because it's a lot of designs going on a lot of glitter and things like that I wanted to use a number 10 uh which for real to be honest this brush has lost a lot of hairs over the years so I wouldn't even say that this is a number 10 anymore. I would say this like a nine, eight or a nine. Um, from the camera, it looks like it's a big brush. It's not. 
Um, that's just how it looks. Now, if I'm doing, these are also three Excel tips. Those are also on my Amazon storefront as well. I forgot to mention that in the beginning. Um, so, but if I'm going to be using like a cover color or like the entire nail is going to be the same color, then I'll use a bigger brush. Um, I like to use anywhere between a 16 to a 20, um, especially with capping nails because I've been trying to get done. In this video, I didn't do that though. I stuck with the 10 throughout the entire uh, video. And yeah, so that's just kind of how that went. So those are the questions that I be getting about the brushes and things like that. So jumping back though to the video, um, as you saw on the ring nail, um, where their jelly color is, that's going to be a triple ombre. So I use the golden color, the golden glitter. I use that kind of put that in the middle, put um, and then I'll be putting. I think it's Mia Secret cover pink on that one. On this uh, index nail, this is a triple ombre as well. So um, that's why you see me working with this color rather wet so that I can make sure that when I get ready to blend the next color that it'll be seamlessly together. So, yeah, so that's if that's a question that you have about uh, ombres as well, um, let me know that too. And I can better explain that or I can do a video on that. Also, if there's anything else that you would like to see, on the channel go ahead and let me know that too drop those in the comments section below so um i'm gonna go ahead and let the rest of this video play out so again on the middle nail and this ring nail we're going to be doing um a triple ombre so you'll see the colors that's down now and then i'm gonna go in with the cover pink I'll be doing my thumbnail off camera, so you won't see that. But I am going to go in on the ombre on the thumbnail as well. In this video, I'm not going to show the filing process. I actually kept that out of the video as well to kind of narrow down on the time to keep this video as short as possible, but still very informative. Um, also, I need to mention, you're going to see that um, when I did the cover colors and I went in and I went to file that I did file off a little bit of that color on the thumbnail as well as on the ring nail so I just kind of wanted to throw that out there but if you're going to be um like recreating this design be sure that you have enough of your cover color on or use a little bit of clear acrylic to make sure that that color is encapsulated well you don't have to encapsulate your core colors because they are strength powders the colors are not strength powders they're just for pigment only so those colors have to be encapsulated but uh, when you purchase your acrylics um, it'll tell you whether or not, you know, pretty much if it's a, uh, it'll say cover or core powder, like Young Nails says that they're core powders. Um, other companies may say that it's a cover uh, color. And that just lets you know um, there that the cover doesn't require that you actually cap it. Um, if you are actually running a business, however, I would recommend that you use your cover colors as thin as possible, just like you would on your pigment powders, because it would save in the long run on your pockets. Plus, the color will last longer. You can encapsulate it, uh, so on and so forth, because most of the cover uh, colors only come in a two ounce jar. So you would be saving overall. If you are taking client, uh, clients, I highly recommend that you do this. But I'm going to go ahead and let you enjoy the rest of this acrylic application and I'll pop back in whenever I need to. Loading, loading, strap for the lyrics like I'm bowling, bowling, keep pushing on, keep rolling, rolling. I know when I listen, but I told him, told him one more time, your favorite MCs, bronze or silver. These raps here are golden, golden. Cards on the table, there's no folders. Spit bars at the club, zoning, zoning. TikTok comes along, they get ripped off. Man, get pissed off when I start lift off. Sweet like flavors, cookie and biscuit. Frontier, yeah, the bars I get ripped off. Picked up my song, yo, every time I tripped off. Little petty, tell the big rock. Me and my G's do get my favorite. 
morning mix So I full circle that everybody looked up That's irrelevant, maybe like an elephant Keep your heart but you know that it's elegant Get mad but always benevolent Always moving up, just leveling Constantly telling and rhyming, bridging Cycle through these streets, I'm pedaling Hibernating and boom, she's back again Oh, cause a little fire on the track again Turn the music up, vibe like an icon Icon, icon, yeah, if you want buff We can go psycho, psycho, psycho Head to head, bout to bout, turn the mic on Mic on, mic on, turn the music up, vibe like an icon Icon, icon Yeah, I don't mind, I'll do it for the hell of it, yeah Elevate bars, I regulate, yeah UK, wheel up the tune, just meditate If it didn't get a bite now, then it kinda late Man, fix is a bad man, but it's kinda bait Live every day like it's my last celebrate Mind of the toss, we calibrate Load it, load it, strike with the lyrics like I'm bowling, bowling Keep pushing on, keep rolling, rolling Didn't wanna listen, but I told him, told him One more time, your favourite MC's bonds are super Too bad these vibes here are golden Cards on the table, there's no folding Spit more than I can't zone in, zone in That's irrelevant, maybe like an elephant Keep your heart, but you know that it's elegant Get mad, but always benevolent Always moving up, just leveling Constantly telling them, rhyming, breathing Cycle through these sheets, I'm pedaling Hibernating them, boom, she's back again Oh, cause a little fire on the track again Turn the music on, vibe like an icon Icon, icon, yeah, if you want bump, we can go psycho, 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 head to head, bar to bar, turn the mic on, mic on, mic on, turn the music up, vibe like an icon, icon, icon.
convinced me had to use my own to us to see niggas always make you think you're going crazy something in the way they lie manipulation no more patience because there's a million 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 things that i'd rather do than to be fishing for truth am i in the twilight zone or am i just a fool so wrong for loving you but you forgot that i'm a shoot a think i'll take five shots one for the day that i learned i two for the bridges you burned i three for the chances you had and four for the bitches you bagged and fights never being sad no one for the drama you caused, I, 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 I Two for the number of draws I felt Three for the promises made And four for the way that you break them Five shots won't take no more Five shots won't take no more Here are the nails after application and here are the nails after filing. Now let's get into finishing up these nails. So I'm going to be using not polish glossy for the glitter um, on the pinky nail. I'll also be using uh, the shiny glossy for the glitter on the ring nail and the middle nail and the index nail. Um, although I did not show the thumbnail on camera, um, that one is going to be matte. Sometimes when I'm working, I like to work with one nail at a time. This was pretty much a freestyle, so I kind of winged it a little bit. So like you can see on the ring nail, I went on ahead and cured the first side of that nail because I did that one matte. And I wanted to be sure that the shiny and the matte like didn't cross over on each other. Um, when I'm doing like a flash cure, I only cure anywhere between 15 and 30 seconds. But once I'm uh, done with the entire design, I'm going to cure everything for a full 60 seconds. Be sure to actually check with the manufacturer of your nail lamp to be sure that you are curing your nails um, properly in your nail lamp and that all that gel is cured. Because when that gel is not cured, then all it's going to do is wrinkle up. You do see me um, actually doing some cleanup before I put my hand in the light because remember wherever that gel touches it is going to cure so now we're going to go in with this reflective gel that I also got on Amazon it comes with about 12 colors I believe um again that is linked in my uh, Amazon storefront in the description box below so if that's something that you're interested in go ahead and check that out I'm going to do an outline on this ring nail um, like I said, remember earlier I was talking about going down the center of the nail uh, with this reflective gel. I just love reflective gel because when you turn on the flashlight or uh, when you're going somewhere, that, you know, probably like a nightclub or something, anywhere that has low light and then you're using the flash, those nails are really going to stand out. So I, I felt like the reflective gel against this mat was just going to look too good. So I, that's what I did on that one. On the middle now, I outlined the... Uh, outside of the nail um with that now i didn't go in with the top coat afterwards like i didn't go over the reflective gel i just kind of left it that's um what it was that was it that's all i did to it um because i've already went in with the top coat prior um on all of the nails so i didn't feel the need to go in uh with the top coat um remember i did the pop-off method so if you're going to be wearing these nails um for two weeks or more and then i would say yeah go over the reflective gel with the 
shiny top coat and that way you would ensure that it doesn't peel um, off the nail. You want a bad one Well baby I'm as bad as they come You said you want a hot one yeah. You with the hottest under the sun But be careful what you wish for Make you eat your words If for more than what you bargain for Fun to flirt But promise to deliver Much is required Cause look at what I'm giving you The nails are finally cured, honey. So we're gonna go in with some cuticle oil, rehydrate those cuticles. Make sure you do that. Um, doesn't matter what type of nail services that you're doing, you do want to rehydrate those cuticles. You got to keep those nails strong and healthy for nail enhancements and then what we're going to do is just rub that in um, by activating that and these are the final results i hope that you enjoyed today's video any questions and comments go ahead and drop them uh, down below and as always stay safe stay healthy and be blessed